Knowing when to make the first cutting of alfalfa requires a couple of things. Understand the stages of plant growth and your forage goals on Successful Farming Radio. Successful Farming Radio, providing information farmers need in the field, in the shop, and in the office. Committed to growing your business in agriculture. Spot less. Introducing the cleanup for tar spot, gray leaf spot, southern rust, and more. Novel next generation at Astrio fungicide. Broadens your spectrum and strengthens your residual when it comes to foliar disease control in corn. Visit your FMC retailer or at astrio.ag.fmc.com to clean up this season. Follow 2EE for tar spot management in corn. Valid until 131.28. Always read and follow all label directions. Are you looking for new advanced technology for your farm operation? Need some advice on managing your farm or tips on finding the best machinery prices? You'll find all this and more in Successful Farming Magazine. Subscriptions are available online at agriculture.com. Visit agriculture.com and complete your subscription to Successful Farming Magazine today. Timing the first cutting of alfalfa is both an art and a science. The calendar isn't a reliable method because weather conditions can vary so much from year to year. Harvesting alfalfa should depend on your objectives and the relative feed value you need from it. Bruce Anderson is an extension forage specialist at the University of Nebraska. He says one way of knowing when to cut is understanding the stages of growth. As alfalfa gets taller, the forage quality changes. We've seen that typically during that first growth in the year, the acid detergent fiber, the neutral detergent fiber, the digestibility of that neutral detergent fiber, they all change by nearly half a point per day during the springtime. The relative feed value, the RFQ, will often change three or four points per day as that alfalfa plant gets more mature. Using a PQ stick or the scissors clip method and lab analysis can fine-tune when the alfalfa quality is where you want it to be. Anderson recommends repeating this every two to three days. As we do that, we can see how fast the quality of our alfalfa is changing on a daily basis and use that rate of change to predict when the alfalfa will be at our desired level in the future. That way we can be ready for that harvest. Good timing is critical because relative forage quality can drop 10 to 15 points between cutting and baling time. I'm Jody Hinkey. Learn more about cutting alfalfa to meet your forage goals at agriculture.com. 